Good day, YouTube. It is the 1st of July, 2020. And uh, I just acquired this uh, Honda generator yesterday. And I thought I would do just a little bit different video than I have with some other generators and other equipment that I've purchased and rehabbed here at the shop. And talk about uh, what to do. You say you've gone out and you bought this used generator or lawnmower or something like that it's been sitting for years um, what do you do what's your first step well I'll show you how I do it and that uh, might give you some tips and tricks on um, getting to know your equipment before you do something that might make its condition worse than it is uh, the story on this generator it has it run in four or five years gentleman got it from his grandfather I think um, there was an attempt to make it run a couple years ago uh, unsuccessfully I'm pretty sure here in, in a few hours this morning we can get this thing up and running um, it's in it's dirty but it's in good condition so what's the first thing I would do um, if I'm either looking at to purchase or I have already purchased a piece of equipment like this let's get to know it a little bit um, what could checking the oil tell us if it's super black it's going to tell us that maybe it wasn't been serviced so much if it's really clean ooh, like this is this is a uh, really really clean I means this thing's probably been cared for it's a nice machine and I could tell that right now. Well, let's put the dipstick back in. It's got oil in it and it's pretty clean. We will change it, but we can make it run on the oil that's in there. If it was really black, it's gonna tell us that maybe it hasn't been serviced like it maybe should have. If it was uh, really black, we might change the oil before we even try to run it. But we'll run it like this. Now let's pull the air filter off. I'll move you over slightly here. And you always want to check this a couple different reasons. One, critters could have made a nest in there. And the last thing you want to do is suck that stuff down in the carburetor and make its condition worse than it is. So let's pull this off. The other thing is they have, uh, sometimes they have a foam filter or a foam pre-filter. And after sitting for years, that foam gets rotten and it falls apart. And I can tell you right now, that condition exists here. So in this case, the, the top of this filter looks good, which is another indication of the thing's probably been well cared for. But because this foam on the outside of this filter looks to be rotten, you know it's been sitting for a long time. You know, I have a hard time. Somebody will come in and ask me, go, hey, how long have you had that? And I go, I don't know, two, three years. And I've had it like six or eight years, you know. People lose track of time. They don't mean to, but they do, including myself. And so let's carefully pull this air filter out of here. And you can see that it is rotten. If I run my finger across it, it's just going to fall to the floor. Right? Yuck. Never, never start one without checking this. So let's see if we can pull this off of there. It's got a little mold on there, too. Let's see if we can get this safely off the rest of the air cleaner. Sorry, trying to keep you in the frame here. Woo! And we'll blow this off with an air hose before we put it back in. And then, of course, we will replace it because this thing is an antique, right? So uh, let me blow it off here real quick. I got the air hose over here handy. And we'll reinstall it. Keep anything out of the crankcase that doesn't need to be there.
All right. So, uh, not bad. I would definitely run this for a while with this paper air cleaner. It's a little bit of garbage in here. So I'm just going to blow it out as well. We're going to take our time here. We're going to do this right. Yeah, I'm going to blow it right out of my fingers. PSI here. All right. Let's put that air filter back in there. I don't know if that makes any difference. No, it doesn't. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is, if this thing hasn't really run in years and years, let's pull a spark plug and have a look, make sure what we are working with here. We're getting to know our generator. We already know that it's had decent oil changes um, when it was running, you know, a recent air filter, because that didn't have many hours on it, but it sure got a lot of years on it. So we'll have a look at the spark plug. And we'll put a little oil down the cylinder before we get ready to crank this over. Yeah. Before we do that, there's some debris in here. Let's just take the air hose to the engine because, again, we don't want to make condition worse. And there's some junk in there. So let's get it out of there before we remove the plug. Still got some cobwebs on it. 13 sixteenths uh, socket for this one. Spark plug socket. I've worked on many of these, so there's a good chance I might have uh, a spark plug on the shelf. Uh, I might even have an air filter. I know I have a carburetor brand new on the shelf. So there's the plug. Um, it's okay. It actually smells of gas. So maybe the guy um, that I got this from was made an attempt to start it. So uh, he's definitely turned it over then. But we're going to throw a little oil in there anyway. There, that's enough to make the shop nice and smoky. So while we have the spark plug out, let's turn the engine over a little bit. All right, and then we'll reinstall the spark plug. It is a... I can clean it. Enough to read it. This way I can review the video and I don't have to pull it back out. It's a B P R 6 E S NGK plug. Sounds familiar. I bet I got some. But we'll put this one back in for now. And we'll service this in another video. So the next thing is see if it'll uh, fire, see if it'll run. 
They made an attempt to run it. It wouldn't run. But who knows what they were doing, you know? Don't you hate it when the spark plug socket, especially a new one, grabs that plug and it's hard to get off? Hang on. Grab a pliers. We'll get her out of there. Open wide. Say, ah. Oh. Come on. I go, ooh, brand new spark plug socket. Let's use that one. All right, spark plug that. The spark plug wrench is out. Okay, so now we're gonna look into this gas tank. Inside the cap is clean. That's a really good sign. It's got this little screen in here. We'll see if we can. Whoa. <laughs> see if we can get it out without dropping it in the tank. That's where it's headed right now in the tank come on I almost lost it come on come on out of there Mm. Well, how am I supposed to see in there with you stuck in there? Yeah, give me a minute here. All right, I did actually fight with that filter a little bit, but <laughs> it's not wanting to come all the way out of the hole. But I did. Uh, kind of peel it back a little bit so I could look in the tank. Tank is super nice, as is that filter and is the cap. So we're in good shape there. Um, I'm going to put a little non-ethanol premium fuel in this thing. And uh, we'll let the carburetor soak on it for a minute. And then we'll uh, drain a little out of the bowl. Okay. Kind of... It's kind of a flush here, what we got on here. We'll check for leaks. We won't put so much in it that it creates a hazard or anything. And uh, again, we'll let it sit in there. Come around here to the carburetor. There you go. I've got a. 10 millimeter wrench. Um, we're gonna pull this little drain off of here. And see what comes out. If nothing comes out, <laughs> oh yeah, we have a fuel on here, don't we? Turn the fuel on, Glenn. All right, valve up front, turned it on. Let the good times flow. If nothing's occurring, which seems to be the case, um, the needle and seat may be stuck in the carburetor. If they're really stuck, then we need to pull it and clean it or replace it because I have one. But let's tap on it. The, the floats down here, if it's just stuck, um, we might be able to break it free. Wonder how they plug smelled of gas <laughs> when uh, there's no gas in the carburetor. Make sure I turn the fuel on the right direction. I can never remember. Yeah. Uh, interesting that we don't have any fuel flow.
Well, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to put that uh, little drain screw back in. And uh, we're just going to see if it makes any noise. We're going to shoot a little uh, ether at it or put some fuel down the carburetor or something and um, see if it'll start or spark. Let's put this plug wire back on. See how that's what we're doing. Should smoke a bit. Remember, we threw some oil down the in the cylinder there. So, uh, yeah, it surprised me that we smelled fuel on the spark plug, but nothing's coming out of the carburetor. So, um, okay, let's uh, see if we can make it putt putt. All right, we're going to see if we can make a little action. In. Then we'll deal with the carburetor. If she puts, and she should. <laughs> Told you it would smoke. It's a one pole Honda. All right, well, should we mess with the carburetor? They're real easy to do. I've got a, a video out. We can change that carburetor in five minutes. And uh, I just happen to have one. Let me find it. Well, I think I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. This video is really all about assessing it. Here's what to do if you've bought a used, you know, engine powered something. And uh, what do you start with? What do you do? Go through the steps. And that was the point of the video. Um, I'll get this thing all serviced and tuned up in the next video. But uh, we started off, you know, checking the oil, get to know the machine. We didn't pull it over until we pulled the spark plug. We put some oil down the cylinder. We took the air cleaner off. And in some areas, if you're really susceptible to critters, you might need to pull the tins off too and make sure no nests have occurred in there. If you get nests occurred in there and it stops all the airflow, then you could easily uh, burn the engine up and that wouldn't be good. So uh, we know it runs. We did a little ether check. She fired on the first pull. You know this thing's really, really good. So uh, getting this thing serviced up um, will be a separate video. I appreciate you guys. Uh, checking in throw your comments down below if you wouldn't mind hit the thumbs up button on your way out the door and we'll see you guys on the next video